don't need to use a huge amount of speed. If you are using high speed, you may find that the nose of your vehicle is kissing the sand dunes. I recommend that once the front wheels are on the incline, that's when you can give a bit more pressure, rather than driving uh, super fast all the time. You'd be surprised actually how consistent and smooth you can be with your speed. You'll find two different sets of tracks this weekend. One where you can see the tread of the tires of the vehicle uh, that went through before you, and the other one you can't see anything other than evidence that a vehicle has gone through. Clearly this is the soft sand, so perhaps not the best place to stop, but if you do, maybe you need to make yourself a little bit of a track by rocking back and forward and firming the sand so that you can carry on. Of course the firm sand, there's no problem. As with your speed, you need to be very careful with your braking. Because if you heavily push on your brakes, it's also going to dig you in the sand. You'll be surprised that if you actually take your foot off the accelerator, the vehicle will naturally slow. Now one of the most common places that we find a lot of people is what we call a valley. Sitting right on top of the sand dunes and no matter how you try and accelerate, and how much you beg and plead for your passengers to get out and push, you're stuck, okay? And that's where the 3R guys will come and they'll either pull you um, to keep you moving. I know as a beginner, when you're sitting down here on a, at the bottom, looking at the sand dune ahead, it can be very intimidating because you don't know what's happening on this side. So a very good tip is to actually pay attention to the vehicle in front of you. That will give you an indication as to what's happening on the top. Maybe it's completely flat and the vehicle drives off. Maybe you see that it's a steep uh, decline. Maybe they turn right or left. It also helps to give you an indication of maybe how much speed or what position you need to conquer through the track. It's a good tip. Now when you are climbing up the face of a sand dune, you may find that the nose of the vehicle will start tipping to the right or to the left. This is the vehicle telling you it doesn't want to go. So listen to your vehicle, okay? Don't force it. If you force it, that's where we get into difficult situations. So stop the vehicle, reverse back down, it's not an issue. You can try two or three times. Maybe you need just a little bit more speed. Maybe we need to adjust your tires. But often, just a little bit more speed. Maybe using your steering will help you on that last little bit to get up and through. Now, to avoid sitting on the valley, you need to try and have the confidence, and I know that's easier said than done, to stop on the other side of the sand dune. That's because gravity is going to help you then pull you to carry on. In some situations, we don't have the opportunity to come straight up and over. Sometimes we have to come across the side to get through. When you are coming across the side, you need to keep your speed moderate to help hold you into the sand dune. If you've ever put water into a bucket and spun it around, the water stays in the bucket, right? the same principle here, okay, it helps to keep you in. Again, if your vehicle starts drifting down, just go with it. Don't force the vehicle, we can bring you again, and with a bit more speed, it will bring you through. A very good trick in this situation, as well, is to always be above the previous tracks, because our friend gravity is going to pull you down. But if you're above the previous tracks, it's going to pull you down into those previous tracks and it's going to help to hold you there. You always need to make sure that the sand dune is clear in front of you. Now if you don't have a sand flag and you are stuck on the other side, please send either your passenger or yourself to stand up here and just 
notify vehicles. Maybe we can't visibly see you, okay? Um, recommended is that we keep 20 to 30 meters at least between the vehicles. Okay, as soon as we bunch up, that's when you start finding problems. If you are driving really close behind the vehicle in front of you, what you'll find is that maybe the vehicle has gotten stuck here and you've been forced to stop at the bottom of the sand dune. So now you've got to try and get out of a sticky situation so that this vehicle can come down. So give each other plenty of space. It's, uh, at the end of the day, we're all here to enjoy and have fun. It's not the competition of who reaches uh, there first. Hi, my name is Lise. I'm originally from Oman, from France. My name is Lucy. I come from France and I live in Muscat. Good morning. My name is Stephanie. I'm from France and uh, this is our first time in the desert and it was a, such a good experience. We enjoy a lot. We feel safe, well and free. We, we had a very good and great adventure because we were stuck in the big hole with all the family, so I was scared about somebody jump on the car, but immediately a lot of people came to help us, and uh, it was nice the feeling to have a lot of people to rescue her. So finally, it's a good memory too. And definitely, yes, we want to come back again, and we will come back again soon.